Um, well, we felt, felt a lot went right for a start. You know, obviously the result ultimately is in cup football what you have to get, and you know we managed to do that last season. Obviously, more often than not. Um, but what we take from it is the overall performance. We felt there was a lot of good things: the energy, the drive, determination, desire, and some good play uh, amongst that as well. Um, so in the overall picture, there was a lot to, for us to take from it. You know, there's there's kind of cliche of ways to ways to win a match. But there's always ways to lose it as well. And I think for us, as hard as it is to take the result, uh, you know, there is there there is a way to lose a match. And uh, in terms of performance, we felt there was a lot, uh, you know, a lot we can take from it. So you know, that's what we do. We just move on. That's football. Good luck to Hearts. Uh, you know, they go on. They're a good side. Um, but you know, we just look forward to coming up now and, and hopefully taking a lot of elements of that performance into Saturday. Richard Tate, speaking about it, and I think the manager touched on it as well, just about becoming more of a mother of performances now that you're getting back to what you were, back to your best. Do you feel that? Is there a sense of that in the dressing room and on the training field as well? <coughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, I think um, you know, last year we we worked hard at trying to create a, an identity, something that the you know the club would be. The team would show that energy, all the words I just used, the drive, determination and, and, and good play in the right areas and I think a lot of that was there in, on Wednesday night. Um, you know, we need to, to kick on now, I think the season's still early enough that we can still mould this season whatever way we want to do that. Uh, you know, if we work hard enough and perform the way we, we feel we can. Um, so it's up to us to do that, to show that now. Um, you know, say Wednesday was a disappointment. We had great success in the cups last year, but it's still early in the league campaign, and still another cup to, to go and play for when that comes around. So um, you know, we, we feel confident that we can still you know still have a have a decent season. Did you make a command up then a bigger test for that force? Massive test. You know, I think it's you know I don't think there's much to add to the conversation about how good a job Steve Clark's done. You know, I think it's all been said. Um, he really has turned the club around, and you know I think I seen a stat the other day uh, on social media where it was um, I think in the calendar year I think to be top of the, the the league, you know. So I think that shows you uh, a perfect indication of the job that Steve's done. So um, yeah, down at their place, it's going to be a tough game. There's no doubt. I was down at their game at Celtic uh, last weekend. Uh, you know, won that game um, deservedly, I think, in the end. Uh, so we know what we're up against. Um, you know, a real group of players that I think look as if they've got a great spirit amongst them, uh, a great work ethic, uh, and they've got some you know good individual players within that as well. <coughs> so we know what we're up against, but you know it's about us. It's about um, what we do, uh, and and you know that's our focus this this week going into the game. Just looking at the decision by the FPFL yesterday. Place both semi-finals. I don't appreciate obviously not involved, but if they were to be involved, what would you be your thoughts on playing both at the stadium? I've got to say I was surprised by the. That was my first reaction. If you like, I, I think you know just from a security point of view, I think, and maybe just how quickly they can turn the stadium around. You know, I don't know expertise in that myself, obviously, but um, you know if they feel they can do it, I think from a commercial point of view and to to promote a game and. Uh, you know, I'm sure that you know BT will do a good job of that uh, on the television. Um, I think it will promote the game. I think it's obviously it'll be two good semi-finals, two two big crowds, and 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 I think it's a good uh, it'll be a good day for marketing the Scottish game. Hopefully, but I've got to say I was still surprised when the decision was made. And uh, but good luck to it. Hopefully, it works out. Uh, you know, we are just um, upset that we are not going to be part of it because it certainly would be something exciting to be a part of. Can you just come back to the, the cup time. Right? Was one of the positives the fact that you're, you're up against the league leaders and you know, you're, you're at the bottom three or four in the league, but yet there was no sign of that at all. There's certainly no sign that the belief had been affected by you know, a couple of results going against you. As well. No, not at all. As I said, we still feel as if it's early enough in the season that we can still, as I say, mould this season whatever way we want to in terms of our own performance. You know, so it's it's up to us to to get the results to back that up. Now, you know, it's a results business. We know that. But the performance the other night, which is the thing that we can control, um, was there and, and we feel as if we perform in that manner, then we will win more games of football than we lose. So that's what, that's the that's the one for us, it's the performance and that's what we look to, to, to show again on, on Saturday. So uh, while it was disappointing, there were a lot of elements of the, of the performance we were really happy with, and, but it's up to us to continue that level of performance, but get the results at the end of it as I said it's, it's about results and, and we want to try and get ourselves up this table and, and give our chan ourselves a chance of, of then pushing on and, and having a good season and that's that's a focus particularly in these next couple of games coming up
Uh, Imagine it's spoken about that you've been frustrated to not be able to get Curtis Main and Ryan Bowman um, together on the, the pack at the same time. It was good to see them linking up and causing problems as well, and gives you obviously get Connor Salmon coming back as well. You've got more options up there now. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think um, you know, I think right from the start of the season we've had a few uh, niggles and injuries that have, have held certain guys back. You know, like I'm sure all of the clubs could probably sit and say the th same thing. But you know, when we have got everybody available, um, you know, particularly in the strike area, we feel as if they have got combinations up there that can cause teams problems. And one of those combinations is Main and Bowman, who I think on their day are a real handful for Andy. I think they proved that last season. Um, hopefully, if we can just get them both up to full fitness and niggle free, we feel as if they can go on to to, to again show their worth and show how much of a handful they are. So, um, you know, I think Wednesday was it was good signs of that and, and hopefully, you know, these coming weeks we can we can even prove on that and, and, and show it even more. Uh, is, um, so there's a couple of players out in midweek, Peter Hartley and Andy Rose, is, are they going to be back at all? Yeah, well, it's going to be late uh, for the two of them. Um, you know, they've managed to, Andy's managed to train today. Um, so, you know, it'll be a late check, uh, to be honest. Yeah, Charles Dunn still a little bit away, but he's out on the grass again, which is a good sight to see to see Charles back. Um, so yeah, getting closer and you know, be a late call on on a couple of them. Yeah, he did. Everything went well. Um, you know, obviously it was it, it was a bad injury that Tan's got, unfortunately. So you know, he's still going to be you know a little bit of time away, to be honest with you. But everything's as should be after his, you know, his latest surgery and, and uh, you know, I'm sure the determination that Vitans has got, he'll be back as soon as he can. And again, to get him back in the fold whenever that may be will be a, you know, a big, big boost for us.